Taurus, welcome to your reading. We're going to do a past, present, future with clarifiers. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Taurus's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. Please remember that energies are fluid. Roles can be reversed, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's see what's going on. What is going on with our Taurus friends? So we're using the Enchanted Soul Tarot and we're clarifying with Tarot of the Divine. And then we'll pull an Oracle card from the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. So we have the Ace of Swords, how you're showing up. Yes. Clarity, truth, truth in action, four of wands when it comes to a committed relationship, possibly a marriage, and all your happiness on a personal level, happiness and joy, wishes fulfilled, and the current energy is queen of wands, right at the heart of your reading, doing a balancing act here, going back and forth with the two of coins and the seven of wands keeping the unwanted energies at bay standing your ground guarding your energy in the immediate future the three of swords heartbreak possible betrayal definitely sorrow followed by the devil this is some sort of unhealthy behavior pattern showing up and finally we have the four of coins holding on tight you don't want to let go of something. The overall energy of your reading, Taurus, the Ace of Coins. This is a gift from the Divine, giving you an opportunity. Should you choose to nurture it and do the work, you can build a whole lot of stability here with whatever that is. The reason we're here, the lovers, because of a, and a very important connection on your heart stays with you forever all right let's take a look at that ace of coins opportunity over here why is it here in the overall energy and what does Taurus need to know why is the ace of coins here please must be in reverse. This hit the table first. There are no mistakes. The Empress in reverse. In the upright. She's the balance of all four queens. Hmm. Not feeling herself here though. Followed by the Five of Cups in reverse. In the upright. These are oh gosh grieving over our past losses. Nope. Okay, and the Five of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords is winning at all costs, but what are the costs? This is not doing that. You're turning, you're, you're turning everything upside down. It's like you feel like you have to change everything in order to go after this Ace. It's what it feels like. I don't know what that is. I'm going to write the deck. Oh, and it's the King of Cups underneath. Balancing the emotions, behaving calm in the midst of the turmoil. Huh. So, and that wasn't a mistake either. Normally I would have gone ahead and read the reason we're here in reverse, but for some reason I just turned it around and I didn't. And when I looked at the card, it was upright. But there are no mistakes because by turning these upside down, that's how you come into balance something that you always did five of swords five of cups which isn't healthy those are real challenge cards turning them upside down not doing them not doing them but it feels foreign to you you're the empress that's a Taurus uh, major arcana card and normally you wouldn't want to turn that upside down because she's you know great but 
if this is what she's attached to, it feels, uh, it feels out of sorts. So turning everything upside down for a new opportunity to build stability in your life from the ground up. Something that's really important to you here with this ace. Whatever it is, whatever Taurus is meant to hear this, because that's when you become emotionally balanced, when you say no to the other stuff that are the challenges that you allow in to your Empress self. You're like, no more, I'm turning everything upside down. I want this. That's what you're showing me, you want that, okay. All right, let's take a look at this Ace of Swords. Moment of truth, moment of clarity. Truth and honor and action. What do we need to know? Cutting out all the BS up here. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? Because the King of Swords, because you're thinking with your logical mind. Page of Cups, come in with an open heart, a new positive attitude. You're hopeful, you're willing to learn. And the King of Wands, wow, that's a lot of attraction right there. Masterful in his actions, determined, and extremely confident. King of Swords, King of Wands, wielding an Ace of Swords, and humble enough to, to invite the Page of Cups into the energy. I'm open to learning new. I want truth and clarity and to cut through all the BS and to take the most masterful actions with my logical mind, but also following what I'm passionate about and feeling confident and determined as all get out. Wow, this is what you were focusing on recent in the recent past. Wow. Wow. I guess you know what? It takes that kind of energy to turn all this upside down. To turn the usual grief and challenges of ego completely upside down. You just, it's like you did a whole flip here, here and here. You're like, this is what I'm doing from now on. The reason we're here, Eight of Swords, because you want to cut out all the confusion. You were like, right now, I have to take action. Right now, I have to be logical. Right now, I have to learn to do something in a new way. Right now, I have to keep my heart open and, and my ego like out of the equation. All right. I have to be masterful. Wow. Because I'm tired of that confusion. I'm tired of that being the reason I'm here. All right. I hear you. Four of Wands, Spirit. Why is this here? This relationship, the stability of it? What about it? Is it a marriage? Is it a commitment? What about it? What does Taurus need to know about this Four of Wands? We have the Four of Swords. Taking a break, taking a rest. Nine of Cups. For your own happiness. Trying to get your thoughts straight about this. Taking a break. You're not together. You're not committed. You're taking a break. You're on a break. <laughs> you're doing some healing work. You're finding your own happiness. And you're getting your thoughts straight when it comes to whatever that was. Ten of Cups. So that's what it was. It was a committed marriage relationship. It's who you homesteaded with. Uh, there was a lot of happiness here at some point. At some point. At some point it all changed. I know that. But here you are, like, reminiscing about it. You're not together is what you're telling me. But you, uh, you remember together fondly that you were happy at some point before it all went to shit probably right <laughs> ten of coins ten of coins is it was everything to you this is the reason we're here this is the reason we're here because I don't know in the recent past you're taking a look at this I guess you're trying to you're trying to gather yourself about this you're finding your own happiness but you're remembering the happiness of what you had of this commitment at some point it, it was it was in your treasure chest treasure chest ding 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 of everything all right fair enough moving on happy buddha 
happy Buddha. This would be me right now if I could be this Buddha in the water with the fish and a full moon. <laughs> yes, privately screened in so the bugs stay out, of course. <laughs> Nine of cups, please. Why is it here? Happy Buddha, what is... Taurus needs to know about this Nine of Cups, please, in the recent past. Second time we're seeing this card. We just saw it as a clarifier as you sort out your own happiness that was tied up to that Ten of Cups. And look at that. We have the Three of Cups. The desire to commune with others in good times, in love, bringing people together. Love, friendship, I don't know. I'm going to guess love because you were just talking about love. Let's see. The magician. Yes, you would like to manifest it. Or at least in the recent past you would. Coming together, being manifested, making you happy. Okay. Knight of Swords. Let's get the show on the road. You want to rush in and take some action. You've been getting your thoughts straight. And now you're ready to go and manifest this. Okay, that's what you're telling me. Reason we're here, three of coins. Yeah, because you want to bring it together. Three of cups, three of coins, three of cups, three of coins. Let's come together, let's come together, let's come together. At least as friends, build some stability, possibly love, drinks, cocktails, good times. Let's laugh together. That's what this is telling me. You want to get together with somebody and share some laughs. You want to hurry up and do it. You want to manifest this. It would make you so, so happy. Happy Buddha happy. All right. I get it. Moving on to the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, why are you here? Why are you here? Seducing Taurus or Taurus seducing others. What's going on? Five of Wands. There's conflict. Dun, dun, dun. Seven of Wands. We're going to block the conflict. Yeah, you're not getting past this. Nope. Blockade. Abandon. Out in the cold. Yo, Queen of Wands just shut it all down. Queen of Wands was like, get out. No more of that. Ksh, blocked. Cock blocked. Whatever kind of block. I don't know what it is, but somebody is completely blocked get out all right i like that queen of wands man hire that one as a bodyguard very good eight of cups disconnecting disconnecting from our heart here blocking emotions that's not very healthy though i kind of like this bold action though with the queen <laughs> whoever that is they were like no <laughs> that's a big that's a no 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 <laughs> triple no quadruple no i'm turning my back on you i don't want that get out but it is some sort of disconnect from emotions which shows me you're tied up to it somehow emotionally okay all right let's move on right at the heart of your reading the two of coins doing a balancing act juggling going back and forth back and forth Doing a good job on that unicycle. On the toes of your ballet slippers. <laughs> That's a lot of balance. Tower. Boom. That'll shake things up. Are you still balancing with that tower? Queen of coins. Hmm. Queen of coins. Queen of coins. She's, uh, she's going to come in and nurture it and do some self-healing, self-love. And turn the wheel. What wheel? The unicycle wheel? What's going on here? <laughs> what are you changing? Something big. Something big. You're going to change the whole circumstance around here. By what? By throwing a tower at it? Destabilizing the energy? Shocking and surprising everyone? I'll change my life. I'll turn things around. I'm going to heal everything and become grounded. And nurture and love and self-care is what I'm about now. And that's how we're going to change things. The tower shows up. You're doing a balancing act. Bam! Tower. Maybe you're. Maybe maybe that's what you're going back and forth between, as you try to heal, as you try to get gain your stability with that Queen of Coins. Doing a good job, Queen of Coins on the Two of Coins. But if that's what you're juggling, a tower. 
and complete change. Wow. Imagine trying to juggle that. That's like a full load. I'm exhausted just figuring it out. <laughs> All right, the reason we're here, four of wands, right back there. We're here because we want a stable relationship. That's what, that's what you're showing me here. This is the reason you're doing what you're doing. Trying to get your act together is what you're doing. But towers coming at you. Towers like, I don't know, five of wands, seven of wands, unwanted energies, that kind of thing. Unwanted energies. Feelings of abandonment, loss, lack, low self-worth. Keeping it all at bay. Blocking, blocking. Doing that juggling act. Trying to heal. Trying to take care of yourself. And change the whole world. Not the whole world. Your whole world. With the Wheel of Fortune. When it comes to uh, some kind of commitment that made you very happy in the past. Very happy. In, as an individual and in union with another that you were committed to. Aww. That's so sweet. You're working hard, Taurus. Whatever's going on here, you're working hard. Alright, let's move on. We're looking at the Seven of Wands, which came up over here in the clarifiers. Blocking energy. Stand in your ground. Get out. The answer's no. What do we have? Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups. Ace of Swords. That's how you first show up here, wielding the Ace of Swords of Truth and Clarity. You're like, no, I know what I want, and you're not going to mess with it. I'm very clear about what I want. I want all of these choices. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Options. Looking at my options. Hmm. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands wants to rush in and take some kind of action. The reason we're here, Queen of Swords. You're setting your boundaries here. Yes, I get it. I get it. I get it. You're saying, this is how it has to be. I'm protecting my choices. I'm protecting my options. I'm moving forward with clarity and truth, and I'm cutting out all the BS. Knight of Wands. It's like you... I don't know. The only feeling I get from that Knight of Wands is that you... Um, like, puff up really quickly when it comes to self-defense. Uh, at one spark of... A, like an uncomfortable energy or something you're like you jump all over it like you spot it and you jump all over it like really quick like mm -mm. no 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 you probably catch people off guard doing something like that too like you throw a tower at them <laughs> just by you know throwing a wand at them or something or rushing in with your with your horse there just uh, like on attack I'm blocking and I'm attacking I am quick to take action here is what you're saying I'm quick to block I'm not gonna for one second take your shit setting your boundaries got it okay three of swords three of swords in the immediate future so much heartbreak. What the heck is going on? This is very painful here. Why is the Three of Swords here? What, what does Taurus need to know? New beginnings followed by the Hermit. The Hermit is the deepest healing card in the tarot. It's all about shining the light in the dark to see what's in our way because a lot of deep healing needs to be done here on this heartbreak to have a new beginning. You're going to have to do a lot of healing and uh, isolating. It's work you do on your own. You're going to have to go introspective big time to heal it. 
the hangman yeah this is not taking any action in the outer world it's inner work hermit inner work in order to have a new beginning the full hanging back not taking any action uh, looking at things from every single angle in order to heal it you're gonna have to heal it not just in one one angle you're gonna have to you know laser laser focus in every single direction to heal that three of swords that you you've carried with you you've been carrying it a long time the reason we're here look at that four of wands you keep thinking you keep showing me the four of wands four of wands four of wands truth and clarity ace of swords ace of coins this is what you're going for this is why you're doing this major transformation and all of this work all of this work to turn the wheel it's all of this healing as you balance life as you balance towers and pain and things that come at you that you don't want you're quick now you're real quick to cut people off like really fast Taurus this is what you're showing me over here protecting your options looking at your options protecting your options blocking anything from coming at it using your ace of swords uh, wielding that sword of truth and cutting out all the BS remember that's that's what I said back there too it just you're cutting through it and you're real quick to do it I like that you're just cutting people off left and right <laughs> it's kind of how I feel today too a little bit <laughs> I identify with that and I'm getting a kick out of it all your all your big nose uh -uh, over here and this over here I get it I like it it's a galliant you're doing amazing work why because this is what's on your mind this committed relationship from some time in your past wow this is so cool seeing what you're doing I don't know what your exact circumstance is but I, I like the energies that you're showing me very cool all right let's move on and check out the devil here please why is the devil here it's some sort of unhealthy behavior pattern we all have them. Why is it here? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Perhaps as the hermit, as you shine the light, you might run into a little something on your path that you want to heal, that you want to take care of. What is this, please? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? What does Taurus need to know? Show us the devil. endings and transformations good death death to the devil how about that the high priestess listening to your intuition going within doing inner work this is all about inner work connecting with your highest self to transform this behavior oh oh look I went to pull the top one off which I'm I'm still gonna give you but we're gonna pull the one that was flipped up first the chariot the vehicle to victory determination willpower yes king of swords king of wands queen of wands seven of wands yeah you are determined that's for darn sure damn sure darn sure whatever it is uh, you're changing everything Taurus Wow and what was this card ace of cups the vehicle to victory to a brand new opportunity to fill up your love cup to uh, to add this cup into a ten of cups to have new opportunities for abundance of joy to come into your life new remember new more new not something you're building on that you already have but the vehicle to victory to brand new love and joy calling in the high priestess and ending the unhealthy behavior well I don't know what the unhealthy behavior is exactly that you were doing but whoever the whoever this is for you guys know you already know you don't need me to know the reason we're here four of cups oh that kind of makes sense in this particular four of cups because you know in some decks the four of cups can be a slight bit unique uh, this one has is no exception and this one instead of the cups being spilled on the ground or turned upside down these are still beautiful and opulent looking cups one has this amazing um, 
Oh my gosh. I can't think of the word. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> oh my gosh. Peacock. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word peacock. There's one sitting right here on this table. And I love peacocks. I have them in my home. Artwork. Anyway, yes, it's opulent. It's beautiful right here in this cup. And so does this. They all have birds. They're all opulent. They're all colorful. They're all beautiful. And this person is enamored looking at these old cups. But but the fourth cup, the one that is the offer, the opportunity uh, that is always coming in on the Four of Cups card, this one is the one that's for you back here. But this person on this card is still looking at the old ones from the past. They're, they're still enamored by things that aren't for them anymore. And this is the thing that's actually good for them, for their highest good. And it's beautiful. Um, there's a live bird here. These are all just ornamental part of the cup decoration. But up here... There's a live bird resting on the on the edge of this cup, and it's just, anyway, they're all beautiful, but this person's distracted by the old. So the reason we're here, perhaps that's what the, the devil energy is, perhaps, it could be. Uh, the unhealthy behavior is being distracted by these things that are, you know, glittery and golden, and they look good, but they're really not for us anymore. There's something for our highest good being offered. And uh, perhaps that's what we're bringing an ending and a transformation to. Going within, doing the inner work, taking the vehicle to victory to the cup, the ace of cups that is here and that is for our highest good. And not this old, unhealthy, all that glitters isn't gold kind of thing. I don't know just the thought the artwork inspired it let's move on and take a look at the four of coins four of coins this is holding on tight not letting go what is this please why is the four of coins here and what does Taurus need to know please queen of cups she's nice to hold on to Ace of coins. There it is. There's the opportunity. That's what you're holding on to. I can see why. Page of wands. This is what you're giving your energy to. This is what you're keeping your heart open to. This is what you're saying. I am ready and willing to learn and to give my attention to this. Wow. I mean that is what you're saying you're showing me that through your whole reading it's just very congruent and I love it thank you for your congruent message I just had a very confusing incongruent feeling in my last reading with Scorpio at the end it just threw me for a loop I figured it out but after the video was kind of off uh, it was one of those things so this is really really nice to come across um, it's all congruent. You're showing me. I don't know exactly what's going on with you, but you're showing me amazing things. We're here because three of coins. You want to bring stability here to this queen of cups from your past. O open heart. Open heart. Forgiving. Coming with full cup of love. Taking the opportunity. You're either coming with the queen of cups or you're going for your queen of cups. Either way, I think it's, I think it's sort of a combination. You're working on your own and you're you're just turning everything upside down and it's funny because this empress is you you turn yourself upside down and you're like no more of this and no more of that I'm gonna change everything I'm gonna change the direction I'm going how I've behaved who I've become what energies I've allowed in what energies are those five of swords five of cups five of wands five of coins all the challenge cards you said no seven of wands and no no more very cool very very cool all right let's close it off with and I know all this is very important to you because lovers it's tattooed on your heart forever what you're going for I love it I love it love it love it leave leave a comment please like share subscribe cross watch send your friends and family their video I don't know whatever any of it would be very helpful to the channel I appreciate it I appreciate all the new subscribers and the comments have been wonderful thank you so much all right 
spirit from the enchanted map oracle cards let's find our treasure on the map show Taurus what special message open up this treasure chest and show them their special message whoever's going through these amazing energies they are working hard man they are doing some massive inner work and just completely changing them upside down or at least you know the challenges to them all the five cards came out and they're blocking them they're saying no more I'm turning this upside down I don't care if I have to stand on my own head to be upside down to do it I'm going for this opportunity I'm going for it that's what you're telling me going for it so impressive I love it um, I love it love it love it your energy is just I love it what can I say it's amazing it's amazing oh didn't mean for that to happen all right spirit what special message did you have or do you have for Taurus at this time from the enchanted map please there it is oh cool magic prayer card number 32 I like that let's see what it says it'll have a paragraph and this is the message spirit wants you to hear speak your prayers listen for the answers act in faith when you see the magic prayer card it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need that said the best prayer is quote thy will be done through me thy will and not mine be done unquote conscious contract with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation surrender your wishes and desires to spirit you may not get what you want but you will surely get what you need your destiny awaits you as long as you keep in conscious contract contact with your higher power be assured that you are on the right path well damn I feel like you're on the right path I feel you're amazing and what I feel is right <laughs> my way or the highway all right guys I enjoyed reading for you please take care and I look forward to reading for you next time